it's release day Woo! hey team welcome back to hd designs crochet hddc i'm heather and this is my channel all about granny squares motherhood and running a business with everything in between if you're brand new hi hello and welcome to the channel and if you are returning what's good what's happening i hope that you're tickety boo today is release day of my comfort cushion saturday the 19th of october 2024 this pattern is being released and i am going to give you a little tour of my sample here tell you all the details give you a code and tell you where to go and purchase it so you can spend your weekend getting started this is my comfort cushion it is this big huge massive as teddy would say big huge massive cushion it is 50 centimeters i believe 25 inches by 25 inches 50 by 50 centimeters it is so comfy and squishy to cuddle up with it is lovely first things first let's talk about the yarn and all of what you will need and then we will go into the next steps this is seven by seven granny squares on the front and the back it is using two round granny squares that are then joined using the continuous join as you go method i have a full tutorial for this on my channel and also in my granny square guide and within the pattern i also show you the layout and steps to join it is using double knit yarn and for gauge i used a 4.5 mil hook which is like my standard go-to size. This is double knit acrylic. You can use anything as long as you get gauge. It is simple granny squares joined together. Both the front and back are joined together as well. And I show you how to do that in the pattern. I do that using continuous join as you go rather than seaming it. And then at the bottom, it has these ties which you crochet and then you attach on and then you tie them up and then you have a comfort cushion for this pattern i haven't actually woven in a single end and i think you could actually get away without weaving them in i will say every now and then a couple will poke through i don't even know if you can see it but it has an unfair advantage that my son who is two he is three four five six seven He's 28 months if you're doing months. He sits and pulls the ends out. So without him doing that, I'm not sure how many of them would actually find their way through. Um, but it is a common complaint on a granny square designs that people don't want to weave the ends in. For me, it doesn't bother me. I use it as time to switch off from everything else that's going on and just do something that requires my hands but doesn't require a lot of, you know? um i'll do it when i'm on a phone call i will do it when i'm traveling in the car i will do it while i'm watching tv and catching up on like youtube or whatnot or listening to an audiobook like i make it into a bit of a party with snacks but if you do not like weaving in ends or you just don't simply have the time you can just tuck them all in as i have done and nobody will know the only ends that I have woven in are for the ties because I used the ends of the ties to attach them to the cushion. So you don't need to weave any ends in if you really don't want to. And if you don't mind, then again, it doesn't take that long. I actually designed this cushion when I needed a comforting granny square project to work on. At the time, we had quite a bit going on in our own personal private life and also there was the UK race riots ongoing and there was a lot of fear and worry. There was a lot of violence on the streets. There was a lot of destruction. Um, there was warnings to not be out at certain time. Well, to not go out for certain days, to not be out at certain times of the day if you were a person of color. And although our particular 
city didn't see a lot of disturbances. It was all over the news and there was just a general worry of like, is this gonna escalate? Is this gonna spread? What's happening? Is it safe? And I just wanted a comforting project to work on. So I picked up a stack of granny squares and I created this cushion. And as you can see, it's just absolutely lovely to like cuddle into, snuggle up on the sofa. 10 out of 10 recommend that you make one. This was so quick to put together and even quicker if like me, you have a stash of granny squares to dip into. And then for me, the best part is the joining because it's just uninterrupted, pure crochet time. And that's all this is basically, is then you do the joining. Let's go into what you will need. As I've said, it's double knit yarn and I will put all of the yardage requirements on the screen for you now so that you can check your stash or be enabled to go and purchase some yarn of your dreams. And for me, I completely stash dived. The granny squares are double knit scraps and the um, joining collar I already had in my stash. I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of double knit yarn. If you have been here for any length of time, you will realize that. It's what I use for all of my projects. And the black glitter here is a mixture of Poundland black glitter sparkle yarn which I haven't seen this year but you can also get um, another one and I'll put it on screen because I do have some of that in my stash and then yeah as I said the granny squares are just random colours from my stash. I do have a method of putting it together in this way to make it look like it has been randomly thrown together when actually I have curated this perfectly and all of that is in my granny square guide of how to mix the colors how i make sure that the colors are evenly spread and i will say that right now you can see the cushion pad through it but it's because i have my studio light on so let me just turn that off and then you'll see what i mean so without the really bright studio lights the cushion cover doesn't jump through like you can't you can see it if you're really looking, but it doesn't stand out. And yes, I know it's slightly darker here in here than daylight, but honestly, it doesn't draw your eye the way in which the studio lights are doing. So I just wanted to point that out in case it was bothering you. It is a trick of the light. It's highlighting, it's reflecting off the white in a really bright way, probably made even stronger by the fact that it's black joining yarn. So up close, yes, you can see it through, but from like, even from here, it doesn't stand out. Studio lights show up everything, that's what they're supposed to do, but sometimes it shows up more than it needs to. If you can make a granny square, then you can make this cushion. It quite simply is granny square upon granny square upon granny square, and then it is cleverly joined together using continuous join as you go. So there's no sewing, there's no um, seaming. You just join it as you go along. If you don't know how to make a granny square, if you learn to make one, and again, I have tutorials here on my channel and within my granny square guide, you will be away, like away super fast and be able to make this whole entire cushion. It is one of my most simple designs and yet I had a huge amount of testers for this and I've had so many people excited for this pattern and it goes to show that you do not need to reinvent the wheel sometimes. Having a simple mindful project is key to crochet sanity and I think as well if you've lost your crojo this is something that might help bring it back it's not too demanding and it's really, really enjoyable. So let me show you what my testers have been working on. Thank you so much to my testy besties. I appreciate all of your time, everything you do for me, all of your feedback. Just thank you so much for your support, your messages. You are the bestest. Let me show you what they have made. I'm going to put 
all of that i'm going to do like a little screen show for you now screen show slideshow <laughs> takes me back to powerpoint i'm going to put a little slideshow on screen so that you can see their instagram handles and what they have made and hopefully it will inspire you There was some really clever use of colour. I really like the ones where they just use the same colour repeat. So simple, so effective. You literally would just have your two or three colours and you would just batch make them and then join it together. Bliss. Please make sure you comment below and if you have like a little thought that wandered through your head like, oh, I really like that one or that was cute or whatever, Please comment it below because my testy besties deserve all of the praise and all of the credit for all of the work that they've put in. A huge, huge thank you to my testy besties for always being here. And if you want to see any more inspiration, please search the hashtag that I've put on the screen, crocheting comfort. And if you search that on Instagram, then you will see even more coming up. And also use that hashtag when you make your own so that I can find you. Make sure to tag me as well. I love to see the projects that you're working on. I love seeing HDDC in the wild. Okay, I'm pretty sure now that you have seen this little video that you are absolutely 100% committed to this pattern and that you need it. In which case, I have linked all of the places below that you can shop, which is my Shopify account, which is www.hgdesignscrochet.co.uk. You can also get it on Ravelry, you can get it on Etsy. Please use the code YouTube10 and it will get you 10% off. I'm gonna run that for 48 hours, so the entirety of the weekend, as a way to say thank you so, so much for supporting and shopping with HTDC. If you do purchase, please let me know either below on Instagram because I would love to be able to send you a personal thank you. And also, I would really, really like to see the colours that you pick. So yeah, let me know and I will see you in the next one. Take care team, happy making. I feel like this makes me old doing my hearts that way because they do it, they do it like, I can't do it, they do it like that now, don't they? Doesn't look right, I'm doing it like that. And then please search the hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. You can purchase this pattern on my website, which is www.hddc. Crikey, Riley, I'm struggling today. And if you can't make a granny square, then by learning to make one, you'll be able to make this entire blanket. Blanket? If you can make a granny square, you can make this, this, it's not a blanket. It's not a blanket. Stop saying blanket. It's a cushion.